How's it going everybody? It's Ethan from the MTG Council and today we're opening up some older stuff I guess. I know it's been a while, you've been busy, but it's just me today. Woo. So I was at a kind of like trade store that sells a bunch of antiques and all that. They had magic stuff and I picked up some older stuff like for example, this Elspeth Tyrell, I know the price tag is on, we'll just forget about it. It's around like an actual $12 card online, so I got it for cheap. Then I also picked up this Commander deck, Commander 2017, it's about 52 bucks online if I'm correct. Honestly, it's really cool. Can't wait to play with it with friends. But the real thing we're opening up is four packs of Magic Origins. Yeah. So let's start with this pack. I'm gonna go through the comments since it's not really any packs today. All are set. I hope you guys really enjoy it. Drop for token, woo. So we got a Fetid Imp. Akron Sergeant, first strike. Renowned one, that's pretty cool. Yoked Ox, gotta get that Ox Tribal done. <laughs> uh, screeching Scab, two for two one. When it enters the battlefield, you have to me, you may put the top two cards of your library into the graveyard. Self mill, you can honestly do that with the new Jace from More of the Spark. Mill yourself out quicker. Titanic Growth, best green pump spell. Change my mind. Dreadwaters, that target player puts the top X cards in his or her library into his or her. Graveyard, where X is the number of lands you control. It's kind of good for ramp, I guess. Not really. Oh no, ramp is like you play creatures that tap for lands. It's not that good for that deck. Rock Smallers. Nice. Kithion's Tactics. Pretty sweet. Evolving Wilds. Uh, one of the worst search lands. Change my mind. <laughs> Titan Strength, 1 plus 3 plus 1. Oh, that is insanely good. I might be running it in my red aggro. Gripper Aether Grid. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Tapped who untapped artifacts you control? Deals 1 damage. Target creature or player. Angel's Tomb. Whenever you enter this under your control, you may have an Angel Tomb come through. 3 white Angel. I know somebody that like that. Rolling Victor, pretty cool. Soul Blade Jin in a forest. Flying, whenever you cast a non-creature spell, creatures in control get plus one, plus one until end of turn. The blue I was hoping was a Jace. That would have been awesome. So we got next pack, sorry for the in front of the camera. Ooh, yeah, because this set came way before that. Alright, it's a Thropter, by the way. Nothing too special. Subterrain Scout. Pretty cool. It's Goblin Scout. When it enters the battlefield, trick creature with power two or less can't block. Warmancer. There. That would be probably easier so you can see it. Norman enters the battlefield, you may return target enchantment card from your graveyard to your hand. Yeva's Force Mage gets plus two, plus two, till end of turn. Ooh, sorry guys. That was pretty bad. Just committed. Oof. Camera fell. I'm still using garbage phone. <laughs> Water Cursor, it gets plus one, minus one, till end of turn for one blue. 
I should start skipping now. You guys probably started seeing commons. Shadows of the past. Whenever a creature dies, scry one. It's pretty cool. Each opponent loses two life. Throwing knife. Plus two plus O oh, whenever a creature attacks. Deals two damage. That's pretty cool. Velrin's Wardens. Renowned two. Another Soul Blade Dijin. Great. What are the odds of that getting two Soul Blade Dijins out of two random blister packs? Oh, that's. Uh, if, if these two are Soul Blade Dijins, I'll be pretty mad. Four soul blade machines for three packs. Four packs. I don't know. It's been a while. Oh, I already revealed that. Thropter. Pretty cool. All tokens are Thropters now. Dragon fodder. But let's just skip to uncommons. Goblin glory chaser. Renowned one, as long as Goblin Gory Chaser is renowned, it has Menace. And renowned, when it deals damage, yeah, it gets a plus one, plus one counter. So yeah, yeah, that's pretty cool. War Oracle, Life Link, Renown, beautiful for life gain. Rogue's Passage, pretty cool. The Great Aurora. Ooh, mythic. Each player shuffles all cards from his or her library and all permanents he or she owns into his or her library. Then, and then, oh, I, what? Each player may play any number of land cards. From, huh. Interesting. Not really the coolest mythic. I'll leave it up longer so you can read it. It's a pretty cool card. Not a Soul Blade Djinn. <laughs> oh, two. I'm already mad about that. I'm not going to be opening the Commander deck really on camera. I'm going to do that own time. But, you guys, join this. We'll be opening more boxes hopefully soon. Maybe recording games and all that. I have some videos to make about the new set and what I hope to see. Honestly, what are you guys' opinions on the Throne of Eldraine? And what do you think is going to be on it? Let me know down below. So, Act of Treason printed in pretty much every set. Celestial Flare. Pretty nice, just skip these, cause you guys really don't care, probably. All of you are into those common, uncommons and prayers. Seismic Elemental, Elemental Modern with the new set. Corset 2020, which is an absolute disaster, in my opinion. Elementals should never be a thing. Well, it's not the elementals currently. Those are pretty nasty. Uh, never really read what it did. But when Seismic Elemental enters the battlefield, creatures without flying can't block this turn. Honestly, that prevents the duck and cover. Nah, the duck and cover, you can just counter it. Anointer of Champions. Tap it, her creature gets plus one, plus one till end of turn. Sweet. Foundry of Consoles. Really cool, I guess. It's nice. And Knight of White Orchid. 2-2, two, two, first strike for two white mana. When it enters the battlefield, if an opponent controls more lands than you, you... Uh, May search your library for a planes card, put it onto the battlefield, then shuffle your library. And 
the search cards for the Transforming Planeswalkers. I guess that's cool and spoiler said about, not spoiler, just this thing telling you about cards you'll see in Magic Origins. But this, this is one of the cool things, honestly. It's pretty cool because you can use it if you have like, we can't really have two. Somehow you copy it? Yeah. All right, I think, yeah, there were decent pulls. So mad about getting two of these. Just why? What is my luck? <laughs> well, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Honestly, sorry for the quality is bad. I'm using a TV remote to hold up my phone to record this so it's at a weird angle. But anyways, thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoy, have a good day. And always continue casting the mana or whatever. We still haven't figured out an outro saying yet, but have a good day and goodbye.